Doctor Biology Revision Shots. Hi everyone, welcome to my latest revision shot, and it is photosynthesis and respiration. All the equations, yes, every single equation you will need for this section of work. Okay, so photosynthesis. So this is the way that plants make their own food. And you'll notice that there is a word equation and also the symbol equation. If you're doing higher tier GCSE biology, then you'll need to know both equations. If you're doing foundation tier, just the word equation will be fine. So looking at the equation, so carbon dioxide from the air plus water that comes from the roots is then converted through light as a source of energy and chlorophyll, which is a pigment found in chloroplasts where photosynthesis occurs, produces glucose and oxygen. So glucose is going to be used by the plant for many different functions and oxygen will be released in this case as a waste product. Now some of that might be used for respiration. So to summarize, carbon dioxide from the air is entering the stomata through the leaf, water is absorbed from the roots and travels up the stem to the leaf, and light from the sun is going to be used as a source of energy to make the food. So sugars or glucose are made, sometimes it is stored as starch, um, and as you'll remember from the iodine test, that turns dark blue or a, a blue a dark blue and oxygen is given off into the air. Aerobic respiration is when the body converts glucose and oxygen into carbon dioxide plus water and plus energy so it releases energy. Now again if you're doing higher tier you will need to know the chemical symbols if you're doing foundation tier the word equation is fine. So glucose is coming from food that you would digest and oxygen is coming from your breathing and therefore oxygen being absorbed into the bloodstream. A waste product of this is carbon dioxide that, that is again released when you exhale in terms of breathing and water. Now some of that water will be reused and you release the energy and the energy is released as chemical energy in the form of ATP. It's important to state that cells need energy for many different processes such as growth, movement, the synthesis of molecules such as proteins, for active transport and also to make new cells through mitosis. Now anaerobic respiration, there are two equations here. One is for animals, okay, so in this case glucose um, is in the absence of oxygen is converted into lactic acid and a smaller amount of energy than aerobic respiration. So anaerobic means without oxygen. The incomplete breakdown of glucose during anaerobic respiration produces lactic acid. So this will build up in muscle cells. That's what causes you pain, fatigue and cramping. So after a vigorous re exercise, when you're resting, you need to remove it by replacing what we call an oxygen debt. So you need to breathe deeply and therefore the lactic acid can be broken down in the muscles. Some is taken to the, uh, into the bloodstream and is taken to the liver to be broken down there. So anaerobic respiration in plants. So again, without oxygen. So glucose, in this case, though, it produces ethanol which is a form of alcohol, and carbon dioxide plus some energy. So this is really useful in terms of um, for humans because we can use anaerobic respiration in yeast. Yeast is a fungus and it, uh, when you give it sugar, glucose, and you give it water, it will, it will release carbon dioxide. Okay, in the process of anaerobic respiration, and that is used to rise dough, so it contains bubbles of carbon dioxide. The reason it doesn't contain alcohol is that you put it in the oven, and that actually gets rid of any ethanol. The second example is in brewing. Okay, so yeast is uh, combined with uh, sugar and oxygen is removed so there's no entry of oxygen so you get yeast cells that pr produce large amounts of dissolved ethanol and that can then be used in the brewing 
um, industry. Sometimes in exam questions you'll get this kind of setup. So this is showing anaerobic respiration. So you can see the yeast cells in the sugar solution. You can see some liquid paraffin on top. Well, that's there to stop any oxygen getting into the solution. So we know the yeast cells are respiring anaerobically. And then a gas is produced. And you can see the delivery tube into an indicator solution. Now that indicator solution could be many different things in an exam question. Uh, the most popular one is lime water. So uh, when carbon dioxide is added to lime water, it goes um, a cloudy color, cloudy uh, emulsion. Um, and sometimes they could give you different indicators. So you just need to work out which indicator goes which color when carbon dioxide is added. That brings us to the end of this revision shot. I hope you found it useful. Please do subscribe to Dr. Biology and make sure you have your bell alert turned on. See you soon.